gorgeous afternoon. So what are you guys saying? You guys in the mood? It's gonna be easy, fun food. And by the way, guys, this is about us spending some time together. So feel free to send me any questions that you want at the bottom of the page uh, that you're at uh, of the site. You can actually see where you can write me, ask me, anything. I'm all yours this afternoon and it's all about avocado, so I'm excited. And before we even jump into the food, I would just like to share a little bit for those of you that might not know me or not know about what my food is, etc. My name is Ingrid. I am a professional eater. <laughs> that's how I always call myself. More than being about cooking, it's about eating. And that's why the importance of cooking for me. And that's the only reason where it starts. And I, I'm loving food. So it's, uh, my food is a little bit of reflection of me. It's food from 22 Latin countries, including Spain. I'm a little bit of a mutt, so I kind of tend to kind of make some of my food Spanglish, give foods uh, an easy twist, but first and foremost, healthy, easy, every day. And this is all about pretending to be an amazing chef, but the truth is we don't need to be, because for us it's about fast and really doable. Um, you're gonna see that throughout the recipes that I'm gonna do today. And I'm so glad you guys are joining me. It, you know, you have to remember, and I always like to say this whenever I'm doing uh, demos or live or like here, that I am used to speaking to avocados, to knives, to vegetables, to lenses. And it's kind of nice to know that I can actually interact uh, directly that I can see your questions, that I can answer them, and that way I can give you guys a ton of tips. And we're like literally almost into the holidays, so it's time to start thinking about all the food that we're gonna do. And uh, well, obviously today is all about one of, if not my favorite, favorite, favorite ingredient, uh, which are avocados. I tell you, I love these guys. Been eating them since I was a kid. It's actually, one of the secrets to what people always say to me, it's like, you know, you eat so many avocados. I thought avocados were fattening. No, they're not. They're actually good for you. It's all natural plant fat, the kind of fat that actually is amazingly good for you, the kind that fat that gives you a healthy, shiny coat. We'll get to that one in a little bit. So again, welcome guys, if you're just joining me. And um, you know, a lot of these recipes that I'm gonna do today are really just to give you ideas. They're for you to get it. I, I would love for you to get inspired. Maybe if there's one thing that I'm using that you don't like, you can substitute it for anything else. And the idea is really just to give you inspiration. Besides, who needs a handbook for cooking or for making love, for God's sake, right? You know what I'm saying. And if you'd like to know substitutes, hey, just right away, my friends. So I am ready to begin. Let me tell you the recipes that we're gonna be making today because they're actually really good. We are gonna be making an avocado-licious sauce or salsa. It's really creamy, delicious. Then we're gonna be making a, oh, my amped up version to a, um, to a delicious guacamole. This is gonna be guacamole with a twist. Super easy, but super delicious. The type of guacamole that will totally make it into a conversation piece. And last but not least, we're going to be making something that I always say a great recipe for Meatless Mondays. We're gonna be making roasted farmer's veggies roasted in the oven, and then we're gonna be serving them in a cup or in a scoop of avocados. Super easy recipes. Everything that we're talking about are all ingredients that are within season. Speaking of ingredients within seasons, actually, this is the season for avocados, and especially Haas avocados are Chilean Haas avocados because not all avocados are equal. Why am I saying that not all avocados are equal? Because they're not. Chile avocados, actually the Haas, are now in season starting September all the way through March. And the where they're grown, which is in a medium altitude of the Andes Mountains in Chile, the soil is perfect for these guys to actually have a little bit more of plant fat, which in this case is great because it's the good for you fat and it's the fat that that extra little plant fat is what gives it the extra flavor, the extra creaminess. So that's why generally when I buy avocados, really 
if it's between September and March, baby, they better be Chilean, just like the wine I drink. So <laughs> we're gonna get started. See, I'm turning this into a party already. Hey guys, if you're at home or at the office, if you're home, maybe you can go pour yourself something good to drink, a nice lemonade, and maybe you can uh, start making your groceries. And by the way, all of the recipes that I'm gonna make today are all going to live right here on the website. And so, then you will always be able to find these and plenty, 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 plenty more. And the website is chileanavocados.org and you will be able to be find them there. So we start here, we've got our two avocados, Chile, cut up. Of course, I already had them sitting in line because that is the chica tip to keep them from browning. What happens to um, avocados? Uh, like certain other ingredients that when you cut them up and they come in contact with air and oxygen is in there, they start oxidizing. So what you want to do is the minute that you cut them up, just sprinkle them and cover them with tons of lime. If you don't have lime and you've got vinegar, boop, by all means, go ahead. So we've got our delicious avocado. We're going to be adding a little bit of cream cheese. This is actually, I call it a sauce. Uh, jokingly, it's the avocado licious sauce, but it's also a dip, it's a spread, it's a, for everything. Little bit of mayo, put that in there, and later I'm gonna tell you if you are actually watching, you know, your intake of calories, there, you know, we could be substituting, for instance, the cream cheese and the mayo could be Greek yogurt, and I say Greek yogurt as opposed to regular yogurt, because Greek yogurt actually has, it's that creamy, texture. You could be doing low fat mayo, you could be do, substituting it also with buttermilk or a combo or even a little bit of uh, light sour cream as well. This was a ton of lime because you're always going to need that lime in there. And now here we've got our delicious scallions. I'm going to save a few just to garnish. And now a little bit of SMP. Where's my SMP? Right here. Ha ha. I tell you, I love my avocado. I actually, in the mornings, like uh, cutting up like one quarter of a sliver and adding it uh, on top of my egg white omelet. That way, instead of air, I've got a little bit of substance. And what happens is that with that little bit of plant fat, when that goes into your tummy, it starts signaling, okay, I'm sat satiated, because the air of the egg white omelets wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten yet. And this way, actually, you tend to fill up quicker, which for, that means you're gonna eat less. And so, ah, eh, little chica tip. Let's blend this baby up. Come on. Let's move it up a little bit. How are you guys doing? For those of you, are you home? Are you at the office? If you're at the office, you better not get busted <laughs> watching me this afternoon. I mean, you'll have great food. You'll probably have more time to be cooking at home in case that you get... Oh, let's see. Okay. This baby, I probably need a little bit more of liquid. I'm gonna borrow some more lime from here to get this baby going. There we go. And we've got Kim from Denver. Hi, Kim from Denver, how are you? See, this just gave me time to start your question while I added my extra juice. Let's see, Kim from Denver asks, uh, will the avocado licious spread keep in the refrigerator for a few days? Mm, of course it will. I, actually, I have to say the following. That's if it still exists for you to put it in the fridge because trust me, when you try this, I don't think there's gonna be much left over. But yes, if it's got the lime in it, it will definitely, definitely, definitely work. So I'll tell you again for if you just join us. And by the way, thanks for uh, writing in and for joining me this afternoon. Now we've got Tara from Las Vegas. How do you pick the right avocado? Ooh, okay, that's a good question. The right avocado is the one that's going to feel to have a little give when you actually touch it, meaning you kind of, you know, it's got to have a little bit of gift. I will say the following. Most often than not, what happens is that when you go to the supermarket, you'll find them all not ripe. Here comes a chica tip. Buy 
as many as you want. In my case, I generally eat half, like between five to seven, some, depending if I'm doing extra dinners at home for other people, then I get more. I get home and I take about four or three brown bag them. That means those I'm gonna be eating the next three days, the brown bag and put them in the oven routine is actually going to fasten the ripening process. Now, mind you, I've been known to cook them up because I'll be totally thinking of, oh, I'm gonna make such and such, let me preheat the oven and I'll go laptop, be working, the phone, and once I go to put in whatever I was gonna roast or bake, I'm like, oh, ooh, had forgotten the brown bag with the avocado stuff. Yeah, I've mm, roasted them quite often. That though of keeping them in the oven in the brown bag will ripen them. If you've kept a few out, now you're sort of like progressing the ripening. So now as you start eating those three, maybe if they're still not ripe outside, you can put them in, keep one out, and that way you will have, you know, your avocados just at the proper ripening process for you to eat in salads and in everything. I mean, in all of these recipes. Now that the holidays are coming, look at this beautiful, the color of this dip. And you remember I said, I'm gonna save a few of the garnishes. There you go, look at how pretty. And if we've got some, let's borrow a little bit of cilantro from somewhere else, just to make it look pretty. Everything comes in through the eyes. So this is perfect. Mmm, oh, you just didn't think that I was gonna make this without tasting this, right? Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about all the good stuff that is in here. Mmm, I wish I could give you some. I really, I would. Trust me, I make this stuff is to share. So. Avocados have more than 20 vitamins and minerals. Ooh, that's really good, actually. <laughs> and avocados are rich in monosaturated uh, fats, fatty acids, so they're really good for you. Uh, it's actually considered in the list of the five top superfoods. And this spread, actually, I use it on toast. It's great for burgers. It's great for crudités. Um, it's a fun way to actually, instead of the typical hummus and you know the typical dips that people always pass out with crudités, this is fun. It would be really cute, a little mini tostadas to hand out at a party now that the holidays are coming up. And um, it's uh, great to be, actually with a little bit more liquid, you can turn it into a salad dressing as well. And again, like I said, you, you can substitute it and make it less fattening if you take out the mayo and do yogurt and do uh, light mayo, etc., etc. So Lucia from San Diego. Hey, Lucia, thanks for writing and for spending your time with me. My doctor tells me I have to eat eight vegetables a day. Can you help me please? Oh boy, have you asked the right person? Yes. Because the thing about veggies is that you gotta make them fun. Now see here, for instance, was a way of adding, like let's say you had little crudite sticks, celery sticks, even if you go to work and you take a little container that you can put in the fridge at the office or, or wherever you are, and then your carrot sticks, etc., and your celery sticks, then you can sort of munch on them. So here's a raw way of really, really enjoying that. The other thing is that if, let's say in your morning toast, and this is something that I did, where little lifestyle changes can really add. Instead of using butter on your morning toast, I was using a patty and a half, which is about 150 calories, uh, because one tablespoon of butter is 125, versus chopping up one quarter of a slice of avocado that you put on your toast. That's 50, not even 50 calories, right there and then. And that's a great way of starting to happen in the morning. I mix it with my egg whites in the morning. I put some jalapenos into my tortilla with the egg white. I chop up some cilantro. I put some oregano, you know, whatever spices and herbs and veggies that way you bring flavor to the veggies when you have great quality fruit like in this case the avocado the vegetable and when when you're using good fruit and vegetables it's not about covering them up it's actually just helping them a bit um, enhancing their flavors so i hope that that answered your question and again at uh, our website you can find all of my recipes and many more giving you ideas of how to do. And by the way, then definitely stay tuned for the next two dishes that I'm gonna be making.